How you guys doing? Big Rich here at OFR, Ohio Fish Rescue. Um, just want to give you a little update on this shack koi fry. And look at you, we can see we got our roof done on the back deck. This is where the white tarp was. Look at that. So, anyways, on the shack koi, here is the pond outside. Let me see if I can switch the camera around front. There they all are. There's fry everywhere in here. And of course, you know, all kinds of uh, moss and algae that's been growing. Look at them. The biggest one's about three inches. Smallest one's about an inch. They're just everywhere in this thing. Goes one way over to the, over there. The filtration, there's the water return, there's a pump going out, and we got some uh, sponge filters in here. But what I did was I took a pump from this line here, put it inside of let me see if I have any of this material over here inside of two of these mats. Now, these mats are about an inch thick, about two foot by a foot. And I put two of them together, put the pump inside of them, and then what I did was I took and put clamps all the way around it, holding the two together. So it couldn't suck in any babies. And that's what the pump motor is setting in. But I just threw some food in there and starting to get all the babies to come out. They hide inside of that algae down there and sometimes you come out here it looks like there's no fish in here whatsoever and look at that big guy there darting around see how he went down right in the algae he's trying to hide down in there uh, he's actually picking up food off the top of it yeah there's all kinds of them I mean there's literally thousands of them out here these are all the ones that, let me see here, in the tanks inside, there's little ones still about a half inch long, and then there's ones that are like an inch and a half. As they get big, I take the big ones out of the tanks inside and bring them out here. Let me take you in and show you the other, other babies out there. But anyways, that way the little ones can still grow without getting eaten, because the big ones will, will eat the little ones. So, and I've heard that in Japan, they call all the big ones. I forget what they call them, but they, they kill them. They just take them out and, and, and kill them. They want all the smaller ones. Uh, I guess they get more color, better. they're better off or something. I don't know. Um, less, less problems. But here, I'm not going to do that. I let all the big ones grow, and I brought them out here to the pond. And as more grow big in the tanks inside, I just brought them out here. This way, once they get big enough, we'll pick out the ones we like and put them in our pond. All the butterfly ones, because Tracy's favorites, and all the ones I think are really cool. And then the rest, we'll have a big OFR, you know, koi giveaway or something. And uh, there will be the Shaquille O'Neal fry that we've grown and, and picked up and taken care of, which means they'll all get like 36 inches. All the parents were, were huge like that, so... Oh, there's a couple big ones right there. They're about four inches. So the smallest ones in here are about an inch. The biggest ones are about four inches. It's just amazing how many there are that... I come out here sometimes, it looks like there's none in here. I mean, absolutely none. Because they're all hiding under the the algae then I come out here another time and there's literally thousands of them, mostly in the morning like right now this is like 7 30 in the morning they're out here oh there goes a huge one he's about five inches so uh yeah I come out here in the mornings and they're out here all over and then you know that's, that makes sense because that's when I feed them every morning like that and then uh I feed them during the day but you know, I throw it in there, I don't see any, and then I, I keep on going about my business. Well, they obviously are eating it, and, you know, eating it off the top layer of the algae or whatever. 
And then I feed them at night, and I don't see them then either. But every morning I see them. They come out. I think it's because the water's cool from being, you know, overnight in the darkness and the coldness. And then the sun comes out and hits it. I think that's the reason that comes up and, you know, warms up the water. And they start coming right up to, you know, the top where it's warmer, of course. But there are just so many of them. Figure I do what Josh does. Give you a little update. Look at, look at. I have to. I can't get back there to clean this algae off of there. But somebody said something. Always looks like Pittsburgh's always on the ground. Blah blah blah. Well, he's actually not. He's always up and going. It just said the couple times that Josh has videoed him, he was sitting on the ground. Even the plants are growing amazingly in here. They're just all over the place. He's doing great. Even the ones back there. Look at that. They're all reaching for the, the light. That's nice. What's up, Pittsburgh? Hi, buddy. And then, of course, it's next to the cichlid tank. Zoom out of this. I just got done feeding them. Well, not done. You can see some pellets still on top. They got to eat some more of it. I think that turned out awesome. But anyways, let's go back here, and I'll show you about the, the more baby shack coys. Behind this door. Oh, uh, for some reason the light ain't on. Okay, but in here, see how they're a lot smaller. Some are as big as an inch. Some are still only a half inch. There's three tankfuls here. And these are the tiny guys that I didn't want to put in outside. See if I can get better. There we go. I can see in there. There's not too many left in here. But I'm going to walk through here. Oh, look at that big one. Told you there were some four inches, five inches in here. Oh, yeah, he's huge compared to the rest. I've still got ones that are like three quarters of an inch inside, and he's going on five inches. All brothers and sisters. Amazing how they grow differently. We got the filtration over there. Look at that. Let me zoom in on them. There you go. That's a better look. And these are all the Shaquille O'Neal babies. It's crazy. Uh, they grow so many different sizes from the same batch of eggs. They're just everywhere out here. We took and screened a lot of this algae out so they don't have as many places to hide no more. It'll grow back. But it was so covered in algae you couldn't see any of the fish. I figured it was time. We took a net, very fine net, and put in there and as you pulled up on the algae uh, you could see lumps where the fish were and we got the fish out and back in the pond and then we threw the algae away. Matter of fact, let me see if I can see. No, we already cleaned it up out here. But this is where we were throwing it, right there. And it was a huge pile. So Joshua Ritchie already cleaned it up. But yeah, this is uh, amazing. I come out here every morning and feed them and just, I, I get amazed. Our pond's going to be full of 36-inch koi eventually. And what we'll do is we'll keep all the butterfly koi out of here. And I don't know if we'll do a fundraiser and, and sell them cheap or just give them away <clears throat> so that everybody can have a, a chance to have some shack koi fry, you know? The last time we, we did a fundraiser, we got rid of a bunch of koi that were probably around a foot, a foot long for 10 bucks a piece. I mean, you can't beat that. And we raised enough money 
to actually pay for the uh, rental of the mini excavator to dig the back pond out here where this is going now. Let me zoom out farther. So it's going to go from right, right where the chairs start, 40 foot this way, and then it's going to be 30 foot from forward to back and four foot deep. And uh, I just talked to Tony Bennett from Youngstown's Ponds of Aquascape and uh, or Aqua, what's he call himself? I forget. But, you know, he gave me the price on the rocks at his cost and, you know, we're, we're getting things together. We're going to start on this pond real soon. So, but right now let's concentrate on the, the shack fry. That just amazes me. Every time I'm telling people, there's literally thousands in here, but no one sees any. They see one or two, and they're like, uh-huh, sure. They're everywhere in here. Remember, there was 13, 36-inch koi in here that I was supposed to hold for a week or two to take the shack. Now, they were all big, not to mention 36 inches long, 32 inches long. They were big around and fat. So when they laid all them eggs, this became so full of ammonia, it was crazy. I had to end up taking all the big koi out of here and putting them directly into my water without, you know, quarantining or nothing. I had to take the chance to save the fish because I had no place else to put them that didn't have ammonia. But, you know, they lived a, a eight hour trip going from to Chicago to here because we had to stop for water change. And then they lived a 16 hour trip down to Shaquille's house because we had to do water changes there. So, oh, look at that guy. Oh, he's huge. He's the biggest one in there. Um, it's an 11-hour drive to Shaquille's house, but because we had to stop for water changes and all that, uh, it, it took us a little while longer, about 16 hours, and we drove straight through, and they all lived, and we did a great job, and everything was fine, and then, you know, we come back home to all these babies that were hatching from the eggs, and now half of the eggs were, were dying and getting, you know, moldy, and the other half hatched, and we had to separate them and keep the, the fry from being in ammonia water and getting rid of all the egg casings because that was making more ammonia it's like a waste itself and it was a it was a big job but we saved all these fish are all the Shaquille O'Neal fry see how they hide down in the, the the algae you don't even barely see them and they come out to eat I've got a bunch inside three tank fulls inside two of the smaller ones that are like refusing to grow. They're still like three quarters of an inch where the smallest one out here is about an inch, inch and a quarter. And uh, they just refuse to grow, but they're eating and they're doing good. You know, I'm not gonna, I don't call anything. You know, I was told that, you know, the, the Japanese, they call their biggest koi from the batch because they're, they're called something and they're not really good and don't do good. I didn't call any of them. I, I, if I don't want them in our pond, I will give them to our members. I mean, everybody wants them, so I thought that was a better thing to do. And I, I, I just, I don't kill anything, so not even flies, you know what I'm saying? So it's just not me. But, um, yeah, they're doing great. So I hope you guys, you know, love this Shaq Koi update. And uh, I'll keep giving them to you once a month or once every other month or so or whatever. And, uh, you know, stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>